Hey everybody, uh, this num uh, lesson is called Number Patterns. It's lesson 210 in our book and our question here is how does place value um, help us identify and extend counting patterns? Okay, so let's start off with an example here. At Bubba's Bakery, 823 cookies were sold in the morning. In the afternoon, four packages of 10 cookies were sold. How many cookies were sold that day? Okay, and so what they're going to ask us to do is shade the numbers in the counting pattern. Okay, so I'm going to shrink this problem up and put it over here and put the question alongside so I can expand this number guy right here. Okay, so um, it says 823 cookies were sold in the morning right there. So let's shade that number. Okay, so there's 823 shaded right there. And then it says, um, uh, f after that, four packages of 10 cookies were sold. Okay, so what we're going to do is add um, uh, a 1 to each 10 column. So that would be this where the 2 is. So we're going to add a 1 and, and, and shade that one right there. So there's 833 and it said there's 4 of them. So there's 2, there's 3, there's 4. So how many cookies were sold that day? There were 863 cookies sold on that day right there. Okay. All right. So um, uh, what number is next in the counting pattern uh, uh, that you see? And explain. Okay. So right here, remember we add um, uh, to the tens digits by one. So this this two, which is two tens, became three tens, four tens, five tens, six tens. So what's the next number? Right here, seven tens, 873 would be uh, the next number because it increases in the tens digits. Okay, so uh, let's look at the digits in the numbers and what uh, two numbers are next in the counting. Okay, so that's way over here. So, so here we have uh, 100 block and then we have a tens block and we have fours so 114 okay so let's see what's happening here okay so here we have two hundreds blocks we still have the same 110 uh, which is this number 110 and then the four ones right there so what do you think is going to be right here there's going to be three of these hundreds blocks right there so that gives us 300 110 and Four one, so 314. So this one's going to be. We're going to just keep adding to the. Uh, oops, I'm running out of juice right here. So I have about 12 minutes left. That'll be enough. So here's um, uh, 400 blocks right here. So 400 uh, and 110 and 41. So 414. So the next one. Notice we're just adding one to the hundreds digit. So that's four. So this one's going to be. 514 okay so the hundreds digits change by one each time so the next two numbers are 514 finally 614 okay let's do that with these ones look at the digits to find the next two numbers okay so here the uh, looks like um, uh, and this is the only one that's highlighted is um, uh, the tens digits so the tens digits increase by one so four five six seven so it's going to the next one's going to be 100 88 okay so 188 and then 198 okay nothing's highlighted here so we just got to see which one's changing so 346 446 so it looks like the hundreds digits are changing from a 3 to a 4 to a 546 646 so this will be 746 and then 846 okay 321 421 so again the hundreds digits are changing from 3 to 4 to 5 to 6. So this one will be 7, 721, 821. Okay, what about this one? 329, 339, 349. The tens digits are repeating by 1. So this 2 becomes a, a 3, a 4, a 5. So this will be 369, 369, 379. Okay. All right, so uh, Bob wrote a number pattern starting with 237. He counted by hundreds. So write the missing digit to show his pattern. So here's 237. So we're just changing the hundreds digit. because That's all Bob is doing is adding hundreds. So this will be 300, same two digits for the tens and the ones. So this would be 337, okay? And then this will be 437, okay? So those should be right there. 537 those don't change and finally 637 right there okay all right you guys hope you guys are having fun in your class take care